should be pissed off. You should be mad about this. Last time it was Nintendo, but now it's you. You. You should be mad at this. We have to talk about Tarkov, people. Escape from Tarkov. Great game. Amazing game. Revolutionary game. One of the best extraction shooters and basically owns the monopoly on that genre of game. It's similar to Rust, how it's a wipe-based game. Um, it's seasonal and every six months you have to restart your progress. Um, the goal is basically getting the most money and the best weapons to help you extract from the map better next time. An ultra-realistic warfare game, uh, very unforgiving, extremely high stakes. Like, it is so hard and I am petrified of it. It's scarier than any horror game I've ever played, right? It's currently in closed beta and has been since 2017. Fans, since then, have been supporting, playing, streaming, making content, basically giving this game free advertising, begging their friends to play it with them, etc, right? Now, before this drama, I reckon I have one of the best fan bases in gaming in general. People love to this game. One of the most die-hard fan bases. <clears throat> now, in the past, the Escape from Tarkov developers have spoken very much against having microtransactions in this game. They promised that there'd be no payable content, um, nothing like that. But they still needed to make money on the, to make the game. So what they did instead is that they had a tier-based support system. So you could buy the game just by itself, standard 50 US dollars. That's what it started at. And then it went up a bunch of other tiers until the $150 Edge of Darkness Edition. This was for the diehard fans, the I want to give these developers as much of my money as I can to make sure they can make the best game possible, right? For $150, Edge of Darkness Edition, this is what it gave you. Free access to Escape from Tarkov Arena, which was a new mode that came out last year. Guaranteed access to the closed beta of the Escape from Tarkov closed beta. But then this last one is, is where all of the drama starts, right? Free access to all subsequent DLCs. A season pass, essentially, to everything else to come out in the game, right? This is the one people are mad about. So, fast forward to five days ago, they released this new version of this game called the Unheard Edition. Now, the Unheard Edition replaces the Edge of Darkness Edition, and it gives you all of these amazing perks. It gives you guaranteed instant access to the closed beta of Escape from Tarkov, a digital copy preload, access to PvE co-op mode with persistent progression. Progression will not reset with the wipes. A new, a new mode it gives you access to. Enhanced stash size bigger than the Edge of Darkness edition, mind you. Unique game ID, expanded PMC pockets, increased fence standing, more slots on the flea market, unique in-game melee weapon, increased mail retention time, additional background screen option, all access to subsequent DLC season passes as well, access to early test servers and additional equipment and resources in the stash. For 250 US dollars, chat. Bro, I did a quick search. I found a pre-owned Nintendo Switch with Tears of the Kingdom and a bunch of other games for less than that. Nintendo Switch Lite with um, Tears of the Kingdom plus Mario Kart 8 and plus a bunch of other games. For the price of an entire console and a little game collection, you get a new PvE mode. PvE co-op mode. <laughs> and a bunch of other pay-to-win content. Fans are not happy about this, dude. People were pissed off. And I think the developers knew that they would be as well, because before they released this, or the same day that they released the trailer for this version of the game, one of the developers posted this on Reddit. Hello Tarkov citizens, in honor of the owners of the Edge of Darkness version and their indeligible importance and role of the EFT universe, we plan to add the following unique features to the Edge of Darkness edition. Yada yada, all of this stuff, right? And then at the bottom here, it says high priority matching for Edge of Darkness owners for six months. And then access to offline PvE mode for Edge of Darkness owners for six months. Bro. That's messed up, bro. And you can tell everybody is mad. Six months temporary, are you on crack? Dude, what do you mean six months? Are you joking? Give us permanent access to the DLC you promised us you would. There was a tweet that they posted from 2017. I'll pull it up here. 
that said, you do not need to buy anything or at any stage. Even if you have the Edge of Darkness edition, you do not even need to pay for DLCs in the future. You are all in it, all coming. Like at any stage, you do not need to pay for any DLCs. And yet here they come with a brand new PVE mode that people seem to have been wanting for a while now. And they have to fork out $250 for it. I don't know about you, but that's stingy as fuck, man. And then they're saying that everybody who owns the Edge of Darkness edition before this new release, they get access to that version that they should have access for free because if you noticed in the Edge of Darkness mode when they listed the perks of it, it says free access to all subsequent DLCs. I don't know in my head this is a DLC, man. Access to PvE mode? What do you mean? For $200 you can have it. You should you should be outraged by this. I'm outraged. I don't even play Tarkov anymore. I've, I've played like five matches total in my entire life. $250, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, the talk of developers did an update on on this situation, okay? <laughs> this is ridiculous, bro. They're trying to gaslight their entire community. They say, first of all, PVE game mode, this is not DLC. DLC in our understanding is the major additions to the game, including various functionality and content that are released after the official release of the game as themed DLC pack. Bro! It's downloadable content. It's a new game. It's a, it's an offline mode for the game. <laughs> if this was done correctly, you'd be charging 30 bucks at least for this. Uh, any other game would too. It's exactly how Call of Duty would do it. It's just crazy, man. We observe your dissatisfaction um, and we've decided that the functionality of the PvE mode will be available for free for all owners of Edge of Darkness version at the release of the game. At the release of the game though, not now when it's released, when they said access to all subsequent DLCs. Basically the reason they're doing this, they pointed out here, is when we have the server infrastructure will be um, improved to the required capacity. Basically, what it looks like is, is that the developers are running out of money. They don't have enough money to finish the Escape from Tarkov game, so they need more. And they want to sell this new PvE mode, but only to the people who pay them as, like, the most amount of money they could possibly get away with. Just awful corporate greed, awful practice, and... Like, trying to gaslight your um, entire community into thinking it's not a DLC, it's, it's messed up. It's messed up. Um, all of the comments on this too are, are, are rightfully mad. Guaranteed instant access to the clothing. This is from your email receipt. I paid for it all subsequent DLCs, right? <laughs> still very, very tone deaf and arrogant. Tarkov is still in beta and you, and you use the money we gave you to fund other bullshit we didn't ask for or, or, ex or expect. I think this is in reference to um, Escape from Tarkov Arena, the, the new game that they um, came out with that's like a PvP... I think it's a deathmatch style game. It's, it's designed to get new players into it, really. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Wrong, try again tomorrow. And they did. They did try again tomorrow. They put more feedback. They were like, okay, I'll briefly summarize the main points. About PvE access, we decided to open it up to EOD owners for free, but we'll do it in waves. This is, like, this isn't what everybody wanted, but it helps, right? They, they, they said that they're going to open it up for Edge of Darkness owners um, and do it in waves, but we don't know what that looks like. That could be... Like, because they, they said in the original one, six months. They'll, they'll have the um, PvE mode for six months. They could do it in waves of six months. Like, the Group A of Edge of Darkness edition owners have access for three months, and then Group B of Edge of Darkness owners have it for six months, and then that's the waves that they do it in. So we don't know how that's actually going to turn out. Um... And just a bunch of other shit. Basically, the entire situation is developers trying to uh, be super greedy and wanting a much, as much money as possible from their community. 
very awful practice, very shady, and it makes me mad. But why should you be mad? Um, I think everybody, if you are a fan of gaming and uh, you are kind of mad at the situation that gaming is in at this moment, where devs just want to pack their game as full as possible of microtransactions and DLCs, like, this game isn't even finished yet. It's still in closed beta. They're still, they haven't even released yet, and they're like, hey, everybody give us $250 if you want to play the new mode. $250, please. Right here. $250. Give, give me. Give me $250 right now. Like, luckily, the community has not let this slide. They've been very angry at Escape from Tarkov. There's heaps of comments about all of this um, on their Reddits saying that they are deleting the game, uninstalling the game, no longer supporting, which is great. Because if they got away with this and other companies saw it, who knows, man. $250 is the price that I'd be expecting. Sorry, $250 Australian dollars is the price I'd be expecting GTA 6 to come out for. And that's something people would pay for. But a new version, sorry, a new edition of an unreleased game for 250 US dollars for Australian, for us Aussies down under, it's like 385 bucks. It's just not on. It, it shouldn't be allowed. Other companies see this and think it's okay. It could cause massive ruptures in the gaming community. Um, look, I'm not. A, I, I don't really play Escape from Tarkov, but I stand with the community here. I think it is absolutely ridiculous. They charge such a high amount of money for something so little. It's just not on. And look, I just wanted to have a chat about it. Thanks so much for the support on the previous video. I really appreciated that. If you haven't watched that one already, go watch it here. Um, and if you enjoyed this video and want to talk more about the topic, I'm going live on my Twitch stream pretty often. So just join in there. I'll link up on the screen above me right here. But yeah, that's it, chat. It's your, it's your host, Doulas. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, whenever the next <laughs> drama happens in gaming. I've loved making these styles of videos, dude. It's so fun. But yes, talk to me more here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.